All right, ladies, how's it going? I hope you're all having a great day. Um, my name is Lauren Riga, and I am a director here um, from Woodbridge, Virginia. And my class is gonna be on engaging games. So we're gonna talk about games that you can play in your VIP groups, that you can play on online parties. Um, we're gonna talk about booking games that you can play online and online parties, and also a little bit about sponsoring. So it's kind of a little bit of everything um, whenever it comes to games. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen share here, hopefully. This works. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is engaging games specifically online. So what's nice about these types of games is that you can use them in your VIP group or you can use them during an online party. So let me explain how. So these two images that you see um, one of them is just Coochie Coochie Shave, right? And the other one is Buzz Buzz Orgasm. They both have the exact same idea, um, but it depends on how you want to use them, right? So you can use these in your VIP group. It takes your algorithms and engagement through the roof when you play a game like this. Um, so all you have to do is simply post one of these two games. Um, and down here on the bottom, I have wording that you can use because you don't want people just posting like Coochie five million times or the word buzz, if they use the GIFs or if they change up their wording every time, not only does it help your algorithms, but it also makes it more fun to see what GIFs they're gonna put up. So um, if you let this roll, like if I would post this sometime in the morning and let it go all day long. And then eventually whenever you decide to comment either shave or orgasm, um, the person right before when you commented, I recommend screenshotting it and then posting it saying, congratulations, Susie, you're the winner. And I personally don't send them a foil pack. I offer them a percentage off of their order. That way it ensures that I am still getting an order with them, but I usually offer them 20% off anything in the catalog that they want, their entire order, 20% off. And then it makes them excited to want to play again. Um, so that's how I use these in my VIP. I also, whenever I do my online parties, use games like this as well. But rather than posting the image, while we're during, during the party, you can see how many people are usually watching. So when I see that there's maybe like eight or 12 ladies on, what I do is I say, oh my gosh, guys, okay, let's play a game. And I specifically just tell them the instructions. Okay, you're all going to start typing the word buzz or sometimes because it takes time for them to type the word buzz. Um, I have them type O, like the letter O, and I call it OO orgasm instead. But people will just com start commenting just the words, oh, 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 oh. And I swipe off my comments. And that's when I slip in my sponsoring commercial during my online parties while they're engaging in that game. And they're like, oh, 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 I'm doing my sponsoring commercial. And then I swipe my comments back on, comment real fast. And then I'm like, oh, yay, Sally, you're the winner. So you want to make sure that either way you can use them on your VIP or online. But they're a super fun way to get interaction. Um, during your parties. Now I did borrow, I asked Catherine for her permission. I saw that she posted this earlier with the um, product of the week and I loved her image. So photo credit to Catherine, but you guys, everybody's working so hard right now utilizing these amazing product of the week posts. Why not save all of those images? You can also post them in your party events as fun games. So you, you can offer to give them like a prize or put them in the party raffle but it's gonna help increase engagement and curiosity um, leading up to your parties before you have your online party or even an in-home party. And I like it because um, whenever I posted about this, I actually used one today and I posted it in an event and I put the catalog link and I was like, have you never seen Kiroma's part um, products before? Check out our catalog link and see if you can find the product. So it, it is telling them, hey, look at our catalog before the party, and it gets them to start looking at items to see what they might be interested in just so they can play the game. So I thought that since um, the ladies worked so hard on putting together the product of the week stuff, if you're gonna be working hard to make these images on Sundays, like you know the kind of teasers, why not use them? Why reinvent the wheel? Why not use them again? so you can keep them um, and use them in your party. So I thought that would be a fun way to get some engagement in events as well. Um, let's see, before I go on here, I just wanna hop and see if there's any questions because I can't personally see. Um, 
There we go. Okay. Heather, let me know if there's anything in the chat because I'm not seeing the chat right now. So, okay, we're just gonna keep moving along. Okay. No, you're good so, to go. All right, thank you. Okay, so the next type of games that I wanna talk about is booking. A lot of times whenever I do my online parties, I book at least two to four online parties from every online party that I do. Um, and so with that being said, I wanted to share with you some of the online booking games that I actually do. Um, so the one game that you see here with the different envelopes, the kiss, thrust, blow, lick, um, I got this idea originally from Chelsea. She uses this, Chelsea Brown uses this at her parties. Um, so I do it online, like I literally, um, use the same exact envelopes. And at the end of my online party, I go ahead and say, hey ladies, so when Susie Hostess um, gets three friends to book a party, uh, she's gonna earn $50 in free product. And it, it has ladies get excited. They get excited about the idea of her earning free product and them learning to see what's in these envelopes. And they'll comment like, Ooh, kiss, I want lick, I want thrust. And then you just have to follow up with those ladies. If you're not into the words, you can also just do um, bags like you see in the other image. I have a couple of bags just with tissue paper in my office. There's nothing in them, but I hold up, okay, would you like bag one, two, or three? These ladies get really excited about the idea of what is in these bags. So those are some ideas that you can use. Um, whenever you're doing an online party to help you book parties from your online party. But I always make sure that I give my hostess incentive to book parties from the online party. So I personally, for online parties, I personally only give $50 away in free product when there's three parties booked just because the retail is so different than in-home. Um, I do oftentimes give a higher incentive. I give a hundred dollars free product when there's three in-home parties booked from a party, but for online, I specifically only do um, 50. So, and then the next game that I wanted to talk about is the envelope game. So I'll be honest with you. I have no idea who originally did this game and I wish I knew because I wish I could give this woman credit because she seriously changed my life with booking parties. So for those of you that don't know much about my story um, and the way that I started, so I've been in Pure Romance a little bit over uh, two years and I um, started my business online. I had a really hard time booking in-home parties. Like I will admit it was hard for me. Um, most of my friends and family live up in Pennsylvania and I'm here in Virginia. So it wasn't until I did this specific game about eight or nine months into the business um, that I started booking in-home parties. I don't know if it was just the right timing or if it was just the way that this game played out for me, but this game was seriously a game changer. Uh, so if you have um, any doubts that like this game that I'm about to show you here is gonna work, I'm telling you every single woman that I have had, whether it's been on my team or a different team that has used, this envelope booking game has booked at least one party. Now, I would highly recommend making sure you take um, Kimberly's tips for hostess coaching to make sure those parties hold, but getting the, the parties booked is step one um, in having a successful party. So the way that this works in this, you can find this um, on our Google Drive that Stacey Delaney created. But this is the online envelope booking challenge. So I literally typed out everything for you. Um, and I don't think I'm screen sharing. Hold on one second. There we go. Um, I typed out everything for you. Okay, and it's step by step. So the materials you need is envelopes numbered one to 10 and pieces of paper. And on those pieces of paper, you're gonna write prizes. Now, if you're a newer consultant, I even broke it down for you as far as giving you suggestions as to what you can use for prizes. Guys, you, you do whatever you want, like you do you, but these are just suggestions if you're just starting and you're not sure um, what to use, okay? Now, please understand that for your hostess to earn their free gift, so for them to earn what's in these envelopes, 
Um, you want to make sure that you have a minimum party sales. I personally do 500. I don't care if it's in home or online. It makes my hostess work harder. Um, if it's a $500 minimum for them to earn this. And that's on top of, of course, their 10% off um, that corporate has us give them. So I have your steps here. And again, I'll make sure this is posted, but you're gonna post an algorithm booster in the morning on your Facebook page. And it can be anything or, and everything. Like there's a ton of them on the Pearls page if you uh, search it. And then the second step is that you're gonna take a picture. So just like the one that you see here, okay? And you're gonna put your envelopes on the floor and toss some products in there just so people can see. Um, and nothing too crazy, right? Like these are all mild products, but you're gonna put those on the floor and you're gonna post the wording that I have here. So you can change um, the amount of money, of course, that you have unclaimed and free products, but you would use this wording and you're just gonna post it. And then guys, you're literally just going to let it sit. I know it's really hard. You wanna comment, you want, you want to get in it, right? Like you want to start interacting with people, let it sit for a couple of hours first and let the comments come in. Um, it's up to you if you wanna have more than one person claim an envelope. I personally let at least two people claim the same envelope. I don't care, a party's part of me, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, great, Sally and Sarah both want number one. Yep, you got it, girl. So after you let this in, step three is that you're going to use this wording to contact all of the people that have commented their envelopes. So, hey, Sarah, thank you for selecting or for your selection for lucky envelope number four. Um, to claim your envelope, all you need to do is select a party date for your fun for a ladies' night. Um, now I have in here that we could do in home or online. If you're specifically doing online parties right now, you can change that. Um, but whenever you send them dates, guys, only send them two to three dates. Don't ever send more than that. You don't want to make yourself look super available, if you know what I mean. Um, but send them your most recent two to three dates and ask them which date works best for you. Nine times out of ten for an online party, you're going to get one of two responses. They're either going to say, yeah, sure, I pick this date, and you move forward. Or they might feel a little like, eh, I don't know about an online party. I'm not very good about online stuff is what they'll tell you. Um, just make sure that you reassure them that it's very easy, that you do most of the work. All they have to do is invite all of their friends. Um, and that makes it really easy. So that's your third step. So now that you have all of these envelopes claimed, then you're going to the next day, post an algorithm booster in the morning, um, post a photo of you holding the envelopes later in the day if you have any that aren't claimed or if you're looking to get some more parties booked. And then the last step is, guys, to go live. Like you want to physically go live whenever you open these envelopes. And you're going to be absolutely amazed to how awesome it is. Like whenever you go live, and you're going to do this on your personal page, okay? Take it from me, like I am a high school math teacher. I don't do a lot of stuff on my personal page with Pure Romance, with products. You're literally going live to open envelopes. And when people see that you're open, opening these mystery envelopes, they're going to get curious. Maybe they didn't see your post about it. And they hop on. I always save like one or two envelopes at the end that haven't been claimed. And as I open them, so I open envelope number three. Oh my gosh, what's in envelope number three? you're gonna get a complimentary toy the night of your party. That's so exciting. And it starts to like increase anticipation and people wanna know what's in the envelopes. Throw it out there. And then if you have people say, oh, I didn't get to pick an envelope, I'm sad. Message them on the side and be like, hey girl, I have 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 off to the side that haven't been opened. Do you want one of those envelopes? And usually they'll get really excited about it. But going live on your personal page and guys put your personal touch on it so like maybe if you have kids let them participate have your children open the envelopes with you make it a family thing um you can make it fun and it's easy but i'm telling you if you do this it will truly help you book um some parties i wouldn't recommend doing it all the time i do it once maybe every four to five months um so once all this craziness passes and we get closer to summer, I'll probably do this again because I just did it. But it will truly help increase the interest for people wanting to book parties. And then once you assure them how easy it is, it really, really is great. So let's see. And then the last thing um, that I wanted to go over with you guys was just about sponsoring um, and how I go about doing sponsoring games online. So 
I do drop, drop seeds when I do my online parties, I drop seeds in the events. Um, but whenever I go and do my online parties, I play Ask Me Anything. So I, I do my booking game, or excuse me, like my Buzz Buzz Orgasm game early on and I do my sponsoring commercial. And then later on in the party, I literally say, you know what guys, I'm gonna give you some time to ask me anything about my business, not like my business down there, like my pure romance business. And I have, and I usually have like, I use tickets and I usually have like five tickets. And I say, okay, I have five tickets. So if you ask me a question, you're gonna get an extra ticket in my party raffle. And guys, my party raffle is just a bucket of names. And at the end of my party, I draw a couple names out and I say, you're gonna get an extra gift with your order. And I give them a foil pack with their order. That's it. Don't overthink it. Um, but they get excited about asking questions. And you'd be very surprised about the good questions that they ask um, about the business. And those are your leads. Those are the women that are interested in possibly becoming consultants. So you could always follow up with them um, and make sure you add them to your leads list. So hopefully, um, all of those things are going to help you to have more successful um, games at your parties. So I want to take some time to read through the comments and see if there's any questions. <laughs> Catherine, you're welcome. Um, oh, thanks, Heather. Yeah, I feel like the step-by-step, -step, because whenever I first did the envelope game, there weren't any steps. And it was kind of a, it was a video, right? And, and they just gave you the wording. So I tried to write it all out, but I just went and did step-by-step. -step. And Stacey Delaney, look at her swooping in there. You're like Wonder Woman. Um, so for step, so step back, you usually do party sale that needs to reach to get the rewards. Um, Kristen, yes. So anytime that I offer an additional hostess incentive, I always have a minimum party sales that they have to reach because for online parties, sometimes you'll have duds. Like I'll be honest with you. I just had an online party, um, that I only had one order for Gucci. It happens sometimes. And if that hostess had an incentive of getting $50 in free product, if she didn't hit the minimum, I would have been giving away more money. Um, and, and I would have lost, it would have been at a loss for me. So I recommend, and it's up to you, you don't have to do $500. If you want to make it $250 for online party, it's completely up to you. But I do recommend having a minimum party sales when you're giving an additional um, reward on top of what corporate requires us to give them. Um, on your personal page, not your VIP. RMA81, are you speaking about the envelope game? When I go live for the envelope game, I do the entire envelope game on my personal page. Um, I do not do the envelope game on my VIP because there are a lot of women um, that I'm friends with on my personal page that aren't in my VIP. And that also helps me to add them to my VIP if I see that they're interested as well. Um, but yeah, definitely do it on your personal page. There, I mean, there's no harm in opening numbered envelopes and there's nothing in these envelopes that is crazy, like complimentary toy, that could be anything. So, and you don't even have to add that in there. It could just be numerical values if you want it to just be money values as well. So, oh, you're welcome, Kristen. Um, did you guys have any other questions? Because I just realized that I talked really fast. So what other questions do you ladies have for me? Lauren, do you play any other games at your party that are strictly like just for fun? And like, do you mind listing all the ways that people get tickets into your party drawing? Sure. So are you specifically talking about online parties, Heather? Yes. Okay. So I do, um, I always do a version of the buzz, buzz orgasm or oh, oh, orgasm. Sometimes I'll just do guess a number. If I see that I watch my comments when I do my online party. So if I notice that the women aren't commenting a lot, that's when I throw in a really easy game to get them commenting and engagement up. So sometimes I'll say, okay guys, I'm going to take, this might've been from the other night. Yep. I'm going to take um, a piece of paper and I'm going to write a number from one to 15 on here. And the first person to guess this number is going to get entered in my party raffle. So this one was number 11. Um, and so the way that I do the party raffle is I literally use tickets, right? So these are tickets. This one's too small to use for Buster Booty now at parties, so I just recycle them. 
Um, but ways that they can get entered in my party raffle are endless. So I start talking about the idea of my party raffle in the actual event. So I let them know early on, probably about the third or fourth post, that guys, if you join, if you tune in live for the party, there's a chance that you could be entered into the party raffle. And I tell them the different ways that they could be entered. So one way is by tuning in live. So whenever they actually hop on and say hello to me, that's one way that they get, they get entered. Um, there are times that I will post games in the event leading up. So I might do, um, I guess, this product game or um, I use the hostess. It actually looks like a bingo board, but it's not a hostess bingo. It's just a bingo that has like um, you pick one square that relates to you. So one says like redhead, one might say um, teacher. Um, they just have different things and you have to claim one square. Whoever gets five in a row, those ladies get entered into the raffle. Just different things like that leading up. And then during the party, they have a chance to earn more tickets. So ways that they can earn them in the party is that the first one, whenever they pop on live. So they have to hop on, they have to say hello. And I do tell them that. Like, hey, ladies, make sure you say hi, because if you don't say hi and I don't welcome you out loud, that means I didn't get you entered in the raffle. So that gets engagement going right away. And I also have my hostess tag everybody that said going or maybe in the comments as soon as we hop on live. So that's one way they get entered. If they ask a question or I say if they shout out a product when I talk about it. So usually it'll happen with the mild products, right? So like I might be talking about coochie. And somebody might say, oh, my husband loves using that for his, for his shave cream, or I love using it as conditioner. I give them extra tickets that way. Um, and I just kind of write down on a piece of paper. I don't write out all of the tickets as I go. I write their names as they sign on and I put tallies. And then whenever I play the OO orgasm game, while they're all commenting and I'm doing my commercial, I'm slowly writing out their tickets. I'm multitasking at the same time. You know, I could have my assistant do it, but I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing too. I, I don't know if Nicole said it the other night, but I'm like, okay, so we're so excited to have you. Like, I always say we, like there's more than one of me, but it's really just me. Like, I don't have an assistant. <laughs> and my office looks like a disaster zone right now because we're getting ready to remodel it. So I apologize for that too. But um, I mean, yeah, so... Let's see, raffle tickets. So I do that, I do if they do a shout out and then they can earn a raffle ticket if they ask a question during the um, sponsoring game. So during my ask me anything and I think, oh, and if I play oh, oh, oh orgasm um, or buzz buzz orgasm. Heather, I can't hear you. Okay, um, I get- Carry on, I'm multitasking. Oh, you're, it's all good. Um, I give them a ticket for that as well. And I pull raffle tickets throughout the party. I used to wait till the very end, um, but I pull them a couple of times throughout because my theory is it's a raffle. So a raffle to me means, means more than one winner. And what I tell them is I'll pull their ticket, right? Oh my gosh, Stacy! oh, congratulations. You're a raffle winner. Whoop, whoop. You know what that means. Whenever you place your order with me, you are going to get a free gift with your order tonight. How exciting is that? And then I get all excited. I'm like, hold on, let me write your name down so I don't forget, you know, and I make a big deal about it. I literally give them an extra foil pack with their order. That's all they get. But they have to place the order to find out what the prize is going to be. So it kind of is anticipating that excitement of, ooh, what am I going to get? So they always message me. At least the ladies that I pick their names for a raffle, they always message me to order because I know at least those people will be curious. Um, and that kind of helps, I think, boost my sales as well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Let's see, Nicole, algorithm boosting posts are great for online party pages as well to get foot traffic, yes. And double as a game. Yeah, Nicole, absolutely, you're right. Um, Stacy, I still don't know. Oh, thanks, Stacy. That's awesome. I'm so glad that it does work. So, yeah, I like pulling a raffle. And I used to say that you had to be on the live to win. 
And then I realized, but what if it's somebody that couldn't tune in the live? Maybe they had something go down with the kid or something and they couldn't be there. Why should they lose the opportunity if they've already participated? So I let anybody be a winner and I just put a post in the event. After, congratulations to the following raffle winners. Please contact me to place your order and claim your prize. So, um, and I don't, I know some ladies, now I personally don't do this, um, but a lot of women play um, Buster Booty for in-home parties. I do play it for in-home parties. I love me some Buster Booty. Um, so for those of you that aren't familiar with Buster Booty, it is an in-home party game that you would use raffle tickets just like these. Um, and we usually say that it is $7 to measure one or $10 to measure both. And when I say measure, you're literally taking the tickets and wrap it, wrapping it around their bust or their booty. Um, and then you can give usually items on the sale page is what you would wanna use for your raffle prizes. Some consultants do transfer that to online and say that you can buy like a ticket for a dollar or five tickets for a couple bucks or something and do a raffle that way. I personally don't do that because I think the whole handling the money in the beginning is too much and at the end, but um, that's always something I just want to throw it out there in case you're interested in that as well. Um, what other questions do you ladies have about just any games or engagement for how online parties work? Before you were comfortable playing Ask Me Anything, was there another sponsoring game that you played? I, hmm, that's a really good question, Heather. Um, Cause interestingly enough, I think about 90% of my team, I have recruited from specifically online. And it was from my online parties. Like Nicole, I, I can see Nicole up there. There you go. Um, she's on my team and I've never personally met her at all. Ever. It makes me really sad, actually. But I actually just kind of got, got brave and dove right in. So what I used to have, and I don't use it anymore, but I used to have like an outline of my party for online. And I would post it right next to my computer. I'm literally pointing to it, but it's not really there. But I would post it next to my computer and I would just follow my bullet points down. And whenever I got to the ask me anything, I had um, what is now the eight question game, right? but I had from corporate, like what the average, you know, party sales, just typical questions that people would ask, I would have it printed out. So right now, I mean, you guys are lucky. They have that eight question game and it's fantastic. You can always have that laid out in front of you because most of the time, the questions that they ask you are what's in that eight question game. Now I'll personally get questions like, oh my gosh, you're a teacher. What do your students say about this? Something like that. Um, and I feel those on my own, but I would recommend just having the eight question game out and you can refer back to those and don't be afraid to be honest. Like if somebody asks you a question that's completely out of the blue, maybe it doesn't really have to do with your business, but even a product, if you don't know the answer, be like, you know what? I honestly don't know at this point in time, but I'm more than happy to research it for you and get back to you on that. Don't be afraid to tell somebody that. Um, 10 inches or seven inches. Oh, that's a good idea, Brittany. Um, let's see. Yeah, Catherine, I play Buster Booty at every in-home party because it's my gas money. That's what I tell them. Aww. I made my online party agenda in size 16. <laughs> Catherine, that's brilliant. I love it. Make it nice and big so everybody can see it. Yeah, I probably have a copy of like my outline of my party. If you guys want me to drop it in the, the Google Drive, um, I'll, I'll find it. It's somewhere typed up on my computer. So yes, please. Sure. All right, girls. Does anybody have any further questions for Lauren? That was super helpful. Thank you. I mean, it, you know, some of the games transfer between in-home versus virtual, but mm -hmm. some of them are very specific to virtual. And that's where we are at this point with uh, this crazy pandemic. So we want to make sure that we're still having just as much fun as we do at our live parties. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, ladies. I hope that helps. And if you guys have any additional questions, like feel free to reach out to me in Messenger because 
I'm currently not working right now, so <laughs> I've got time. Hashtag teachers. I know. All right, right? guys. Uh, thank you very much, Lauren. Uh, ladies, we will be back at seven o'clock with our next class. All right. See you guys. Have a good one.